Alright, hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before, and even if you have, welcome. Uh, my name is Allison Kay, and today I'm doing a video um, all about non-material gift ideas. So I know it's getting a little late, a little close to Christmas here, um, but if you need a last minute idea that is a non-material thing, I have four of them for you. And so I'm just going to get right into this. Um, there's ideas for really anyone. Um, one idea is more for women, I feel like, than others, but not really. Um, so the first one is a gift certificate to get your nails done. You can totally do this. Go to a salon and get them a gift certificate for a manicure, a pedicure, both, whatever. Um, you can ask them what the standard price is for certain services, whether you think the person's going to get like a gel manicure or regular or whatever, um, acrylic or something, and just ask them how much that costs and then ask how much a pedicure is and then just put that together and that's what you um, can get them. Or you can just get them, you know, one of the services and if they go and they decide, hey, well I'm getting a manicure, I'll get a pedicure too, I'll pay for that part and I'll have like, you know, half off basically, um, they can do that. So that's a totally good idea and it's non-material. I mean it is a, like a kind of material thing I guess, but it's not, um, you know, just like a sweater or uh, whatever. So it's more of a service. Um, so the first idea was a gift certificate to get your nails done. My second idea is something inspired by my father-in-law. This is kind of specific, but I think you can probably figure things out like this for other things too. Um, but it is like getting a, like paying for someone to go on a fishing charter or um, so you can go out in the lake or the ocean. I'm sure they just for the ocean too. I'm just, I know about the Great Lakes because I live in Michigan. Um, you can do like um, fishing charters in Lake Michigan or something. So that's an idea too. Um, you can pay for, there's certain like hunting like grounds that you can go to, like companies that like have you come hunt at their places. You can probably set something like that up too for hunting or fishing or um, just all different kinds of things like that. I guess this is a different idea but also the same like vein of an idea is like go skydiving if someone's like an adrenaline junkie or you can you, do, you can pay for things like that um, or just any sort of experience. I guess that's kind of all my ideas but get them movie tickets or um, tickets to, the next one is kind of the same thing, like they're all kind of the same thing, but anyway, the next one is, the next one is to get concert tickets for someone. Um, if you know that they like a certain band, then, and you see that they're coming to an area not that far from you, get them concert tickets. Maybe if you and someone else want to go together, or if you just buy extravagant, gi extravagant gifts for people, also, um, give them money for a hotel room or something, I don't know, but, um, yeah, concert tickets are a good idea, or like comedians, that's not really a concert, I wouldn't call it that, but like a show or whatever. Get them tickets for a play or a concert or a comedian or something. Um, the next one is, my last one, my fourth idea, is to bring them dinner. Whether it's homemade or you go get takeout from somewhere, um, this is a, I think a really good idea. This is something that I want to do with my dad this year, is go get... Um, some barbecue food and then take it to his house and just have a meal with him and enjoy that time together. So I hope you guys enjoyed these four last minute non-materialistic non -materialistic, um, gift ideas and let me know if you have any other good ideas or um, if you have done something like this down below. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. So thanks for watching. I will see you all soon. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. So God bless.